The law of attraction. Is it any good? Does it work? Here's my take on it. In October of 2006, while I was at a shift in Guitar Center Sherman Oaks, my friend Jim came up to my office. Yeah, I had an office. <laughs> and he gave me a DVD. It had the words The Secret on it. He said, do yourself a favor and watch this. And so I did. Just to give you an idea of where I was in my life at that point in time, I had come to LA about three and a half years earlier and started working at Guitar Center. I was living in a one bedroom guest house and dreaming of being a full time musician and making YouTube videos for you. Now I'm not complaining. I was working at GC Pro, I had it good. I had that office, I met a lot of celebrities. I just wasn't touring the world yet. If you know me, you know by now that I come from a Jewish religious family in Israel. I have three younger brothers, which are all awesome. Now I have to say that because they're probably watching this. But one of them, Yoni, is a very spiritual person. In fact, he's got his own YouTube channel called Hebrew Nazarite. Go check it out. In those videos, he talks about many different spiritual things, as well as other really interesting topics like self-development, faith, and also taking shrooms and seeing what the side effects are. So he's a super interesting and spiritual dude. I, on the other hand, am not very spiritual and not religious at all, like ugh, at all. But something about this secret, also known as the law of attraction, I don't know, really clicked with me. I mean, we all know by now that we're, as Carl Sagan said, made of star stuff. We also know through Einstein and physics that energy can neither be created nor destroyed. Rather, it can only be transformed from one form to another. So the crazy idea that if we focused our energy enough, we could turn it into some other form of energy, I don't know, it just made sense to me. I may not be a big believer in some dude in the sky, but science, hell yeah. As Mahatma Gandhi once said, a man is but a product of his thoughts. What he thinks, he becomes. The idea is that what you're thinking, and more importantly, what you're feeling, is creating your future and attracting things of that nature your way. Think, feel, and focus on positive things, and you attract positive situations, positive people. You find that positive things tend to gravitate towards you. And the opposite works the exact same way. Think, feel, or focus on negative things, and you'll find more negative things are happening around you and to you. So I took it for a spin. During the last few months of 2006, I focused on leaving Guitar Center, it was about time, becoming a full-time musician, it was about time for that as well, and having enough money to live comfortably. I had that already, but I wanted more, because I'm Jewish. I also focused on a great relationship and buying a home and a bunch of other stuff. I basically did what they talk about in The Secret and made a shopping list of the things that I wanted in my life and concentrated on it. In essence, all this law of attraction thing is, is really focusing on the things you want in life. Like getting super clear about what it is you want to have and what it is you like to experience. If you know clearly what you're shooting for, it's easy to make attainable goals. Which in itself is a really great thing to do even if you aren't into this kind of stuff. Now look, I'm not preaching that this all work for everyone and that this is the end all be all. But it worked for me, so I figured, why not share it? Yes, I'm not going to argue with you. This could all be a coincidence, 100%. I don't know. All I do know is I've gotten about 90% of what I asked for back in 2006. So on that note, back to our story. Three months after starting this journey, adding this daily meditation and focus session, if you will, into my life, I suddenly found myself in a spot where I had to quit Guitar Center. I quit. It was my choice. I was working with seven bands at that time, and I wasn't rich, but I definitely had enough money to live comfortably and be a full-time musician. Ta -da! So in three months, I got everything I asked for. I was all about this now, so I kept doing it, duh. Whenever I wanted something, I just added to the shopping list. If I already got something that I wanted, I take it off the list. So you see, it's just a positive way to bring things into your life. Or maybe not. Again, I'm not trying to sell you on anything here. I'm just sharing my experiences, which have helped me have a wonderful life and a wonderful career. One of the things I definitely picked up from this experience is something we call in Hebrew, Hakol Letova, 
which loosely translates to everything happens for a reason. Sometimes when I'm having a crappy day and it feels like it's just gonna keep getting shittier, I try to remember that, first of all, everything happens for a reason, even if I don't know what that reason is. And two, I usually find out when I think about it that I was probably mad about something or somehow attracting bad energy my way. But just knowing that, being aware of it, kind of helps me uh, put things in perspective and maybe even purposely spin it and focus on changing my vibe and changing the direction of the day. Another thing I've noticed is that when I get too busy and forget to secret, I usually get off track and find that a, a few months later I'm not where I want it to be. Which again, that's fine because then that reminds me to get back on track and focus on my goals. So again, win-win for everyone or maybe just me. I hope this video gave you something to think about. If you've used the law of attraction in your life, I'd love to hear about it. Good stories, bad stories, give me your input. By the way, one way to attract beautiful things into your life is to like that button, subscribe hitting that button, hit that little bell for ding, and uh, leave some comments. <laughs>